It's another great day on the moment of breakthrough. And I know that God of breakthrough is about to do something great in your life. On this broadcast, we're going to be looking into the word of the Lord. And I'm going to be speaking on walking in the blessings of Abraham. How you and I can walk in the blessings of Abraham. Because the blessing is already there for you and I to walk in. We only need the, 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 the revelation of what we must do. How to go about receiving the blessing of Abraham into our lives. In Romans chapter 15 and verse 4, the Bible says, For whatever things were written before time, were written for our learning, that we, through the patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope for whatever things were written before. They were written for our learning. So the story of Abraham was written, documented in the Bible for you and I to learn from it. So we're going to be looking at walking in the blessings of Abraham. In Isaiah chapter 51, I want to begin in verse 1 and 2. The Bible says, listen to me, you will follow after righteousness. You will seek the Lord. Look to the rock from which you were on, and to the hole of the pit from which you were dug. Verse 2, look to Abraham, your father, and to Sarah who bore you, for I called him alone, and I blessed him, and I increased him. We're looking at the blessing, walking in the blessing of Abraham. So the Bible says, look into Abraham, your father, and to Sarah. It says, for I called him, Abraham, I called him alone, and I blessed and increased him. Now, Abraham was alone. Abraham was by himself. I, I can go on to say, Abraham was nobody until the call of God came on him, until the blessing of God came over him. And we must understand that the blessing of God will always lead to an increase. Now, this is the moment of breakthrough. And in whatever area of life that you need a breakthrough, the blessing of God uh, can it, it, it will bring your breakthrough. Now, there are many, there are diverse needs in human's life. Uh, we have social needs, we have emotional needs, we have uh, spiritual needs, we have material needs, we, we, we have all kinds of needs. But um, the Bible says, For my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. So the power of the blessing, the blessing of God, has in it everything that it takes to meet and to supply every need. So we're looking into walking in, in the blessing of Abraham. The first thing we need to understand is this. When the blessing of God comes over your life, all your needs will be met. Your needs will be met in any area when the blessing of God, because the Bible says, for I called him alone and blessed him and increased him. So when the blessing of God came over his life, over, he, over Abraham, uh, that blessing brought the increase. And in Galatians chapter 3, verses 13 and 14, but before I read that scripture, I want to say this. Uh, Jesus died to redeem our soul to himself for the redemption of our soul. He died to reconcile us to himself. He died to make us accepted, I would say, into the beloved. But we also must understand that he died so that you and I can walk in the blessing. Now, without his death, we have no spiritual claim or no entitlement to his blessing. Now, redemption is our platform to walk in, in his blessing. Redemption reconciles us to himself. Now, we are here of the promise only after we have given our life to Christ. Now, in Galatians chapter 3 and verse 13 and 14, the Bible says, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. 
Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the Lord, having become a cause for us. For it is written, cause is everyone who hangs on a tree. Now, Jesus took a curse upon himself so that you and I can break free from every cause. So he made himself a cause. Because uh, uh, the church to die on the tree was to put a curse on himself. Now, in verse 14, the Bible says, that the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles in Christ Jesus. He made himself a cause so that the blessing of Abraham might come upon us in Christ Jesus, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. So the blessing of God is a promise of the Spirit. It's a spiritual blessing. The blessing of God is a spiritual blessing. So it takes a spiritual death of Jesus and uh, making himself a cause. He substituted himself. I, I, I believe we all, know, we all should know that everything on the cross, the, the cross itself was, it was, is a mystery of substitution because Jesus substituted himself. He, 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 he put himself in the place that you and I ought to be today. Now, anything that is good in our lives is because Jesus paid the price. He, he, he traded himself for, for, for it. Hallelujah. So, he, he, Jesus died to connect us to the blessing of Abraham. Let me read verse 4 says, That the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, another thing we need to understand is this. Nothing disqualifies you from the blessing of God if you have given your life to Christ. And it is important to know this, that if you have not given your life to Jesus, you have no access. You have no claim to his blessing. Now, he died for the whole world. He died for your sins. He died for my sins. Now, and uh, he paid the ultimate price. Now, he did all of these things so that you and I can have access to his blessing. Now, but if you have not given your life to Jesus, if you have not accepted him as your Lord and your Savior, you have no claim to his blessing. Hallelujah. You have no claim. You have no access because salvation is the platform for his provision or for the provision of the cross. That is why I'm going to give an opportunity for someone with me on this broadcast. If you need a breakthrough, you need God to help you break through. You need a breakthrough in any area of life, you need the help of, the, of God to help you. But you must first of all accept him as your Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. By confessing him as your Lord. So we're going to pray a, a simple prayer. And also, it's also good for us to know that the Bible says, what does it profit a man if he gains this whole world and loses his soul? So the salvation of your soul, um, nothing can be compared to the salvation of your soul in value or in worth. So you must give your life to Christ. When you have done that, now you, have not been, you will not be accepted into his family. Then you have access to his blessing, to his provision, and to his protection. Now my question is this, why must you die in silence when there is help for you? Why must you go on in pain when God can help you? Your breakthrough can come this moment, and I believe it will come. But all you need to do to take the very first step to be ready to accept him as the Lord and the Savior of your life. I'm going to continue to teach God's word. But before we do that, I want to give an opportunity to someone who, uh, who is ready to commit their life to Jesus today. Now, this is not religion. This is a way of life. This is not uh, an initiation to some mysterious things. This is a practical way of life. So if you are ready, you want to pray this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross of Calvary. 
Thank you for paying the ultimate price. I know and I declare that you have done that just for me. I confess you as my God and my Savior. Write my name in the book of life. I renounce Satan and all his works. I am born again. You are the Lord of my life from today. If you have prayed that prayer, congratulations to you. You have just given your life to Christ. Now the next thing you want to do is to find a Bible-believing church and submit yourself for membership. There are great churches all over the nation, great churches all over the places. You must find one because you need to grow in the Lord. You need to grow in knowledge of God. Because the more of Him you know, the more you break through, the more they exploit. Now, it's a lifestyle. You only live it by what you know. The Bible said the just shall live by faith. That is when it is revealed. So, your dominion in life, your breakthrough in life is limited to the revelation that is available unto you. So, you must find a Bible-believing church, submit yourself to membership, so that you can be taught God's word every week. And if you are in Northern California, in the Bay Area, we, you can fellowship with us at Dominion Life Christian Center here in San Ramon. Or if you are in the Stockton, Tracy area, we have another center, Dominion Life, over in, at Stockton. In Stockton, the address will be on, on the screen. So submit your, uh, come and fellowship with us. Hallelujah. Now let's go into the word of the Lord. Now the Bible says, look unto Abraham. Look unto Abraham, your father. Now I called him alone, then I blessed him. So I believe God is showing us, you and I, what, are the, what, what steps did Abraham take to be able to walk in the blessing? Now, you and I, we need a breakthrough, but Abraham was known for one thing. Abraham was known for faith. Abraham is the father of faith. So faith, Abraham's faith moved God. Abraham's faith moved God. Now, in, Gen in Galatians chapter 3, Galatians chapter 3 and verse 7, the Bible says, Therefore, know that only those who are of faith are sons of Abraham. Only those who are of faith are sons of Abraham. And the scripture foreseen that God would justify the Gentiles by faith, preached the gospel to Abraham beforehand. In verse 9, it says, So then, those who are of faith are blessed with believing Abraham. So what does that tell me? Now, if you are of faith, now it, it means the, the word of faith, but what is actually saying in that place is if you have given your life to Christ, those who are of faith, member of God's family, it says, so then those who are of faith are blessed with believing Abraham. So that tells me that you are not going to be blessed. You are already blessed. You are already blessed. He said, are blessed with believing Abraham. So now let's look at the steps that Abraham took. Hallelujah. Let's look at the steps of Abraham then, because if we take Abraham's steps, we're going to just end up where Abraham ended in Jesus' precious name. Now, in Romans chapter 4, in Romans chapter 4, and I'm going to begin to read from verse 17. Hallelujah. The Bible says, as it is written, we're looking at walking in the blessing of Abraham, I have made you a father of many nations. In the presence of him whom he believed, God. He says, I have made you a father of many nations. The Lord said to Abraham, I have made you a father of many nations. Now, God is not about to do what you need. He's already done it. People of God, we need to understand that uh, Everything was completed on the cross of Calvary. Jesus did everything. He perfected everything. 
And no wonder he, he, he declared, it is finished. So it is finished, meaning it is all done. There is nothing new that God will needs to create for you. He's already done it. So now, uh, Christianity is accepting spiritual responsibilities. It is knowing how to walk in the principles of scriptures, to receive what God has done. Now, what, what am I trying to tell you? What I'm trying to say is that, yes, you need a breakthrough. No, he already did it. Jesus declared, it is finished. So, but you must know the steps to take to receive what was finished for you. <laughs> many Christians, many believers today are walking in ignorance of what was finished. So even when you pray, you are not praying. That's why uh, uh, I've seen people pray. Some people pray as if they are fighting God. And some pray as if they are begging or convincing God to do it. No, you don't need no convincing. And you don't, you don't have to beg God. He's already done it. Christianity is accepting spiritual responsibility. It is finding out what must I do? What must I do to receive what he has done now? The Lord said to Abraham, I have made you a father of many nations. In the presence of of him whom he believe, God who gives life to the dead and cause those things which do not exist as though they did. Now, this is what he's saying. Whatever God says goes into existence. If God says it, then it is done. Because everything, the creation, everything answers to God's voice. Hallelujah. Everything answered to his voice. In verse 18 it says, Who contrary to hope, in hope believed, so that he became the father of many nations, according to, the, to what was spoken, in contrary to hope. So Abraham had hope in hopelessness. I want to tell you, people of God, there is no case that is hopeless with God. So your case is not hopeless. Not minding what people are saying. Not minding what your financial reports look like. Not minding what the doctors are saying, your, your, your medical records, your vitals, not mind what they are saying. I'm telling you, the Bible says, now, Abraham had hope in hopelessness. Hallelujah. I want to speak to you, walking in the blessing of Abraham. You must know that you cannot give up hope. No matter what is going on in your life, Jesus raised the dead. He healed the sick. Hallelujah. If your breakthrough is in the area of healing, I want to tell you that the blood of Jesus was already shed for you. Now, Satan attacked you too late because the blood was already shed. Hallelujah. The Bible says, by his stripes you were healed. Not going to be healed. You were already healed. You were healed as he shed his blood on the cross of Calvary. All you need to do is to receive your healing. Thank you, Spirit of the living God. I'm going to be pray with you before this broadcast is over. And I know that the healing power of God will touch you. But I, but I want to tell you, people of God, you must know that your situation is not hopeless. No matter what the report is. Now, in medical science... There are all, we have, they have all kinds of terms. They have uh, situations they call hopeless. They have situations they call too late. They have situations they say, oh, people can make it. But I want to tell you, you can make it in God. It is not too late. 
And I believe that is the reason that God has brought this message into your home today so that you can know that you cannot surrender, you cannot give up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. All I need you to do is to begin to confess within yourself and let faith rise. Faith to be healed and fail to be delivered. Before I pray, I also want to talk to someone that whose breakthrough is in the area of job or career or finances. Maybe you have been boxed to a corner where you need some certain funds, you need to do some things. Now, Satan wants you to feel helpless. Satan wants you to give up. Now, you remember the story of the woman or uh, the widow of Zarephath in the Bible. That woman had only a portion of meal for herself and for her son. Her plan was to live and die. But Jesus showed up in the name of a prophet. And that woman lived. That woman was sustained and her son it was sustained through the famine. They, they had abundance. So it is never too late. You just must believe that God of breakthrough will bring breakthrough your way. And in any area of life that you need one, you cannot give up. Now the Bible says, it caused those things that do not exist as though they did. Now in verse 19, the Bible says, Romans 4 and verse 19, and not being weak in faith, he did not consider his own body already dead since he was about a hundred years old uh, and the deadness of Sarah's womb. He did not consider the deadness. So you will have to take your eyes away from how you are feeling. You may have to take your eyes from the situations around you. He did not consider his own body that is already dead. Hallelujah. Your, your, the medical reports cannot hinder the power of God from reaching out to you. I want to pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of the living God. I, I want you to stretch forth your hands towards your screen in faith. That is your, the, that, that is your expression of faith, expression of your desire to be healed, to be blessed for your breakthrough by God. Hallelujah. Don't forget the, 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 the word of faith is accepting responsibility spiritually. There is no every prayer you pray that gives you no responsibility is a, is a useless prayer because you have to do something. You have to have faith. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Thank you, Jesus. Father, in the precious name of Jesus, I thank you because you always hear me. I thank you for your sons and daughters reaching out to you for help in faith. In the precious name of Jesus, I pray for a touch of your power in all their lives. Cause their breakthrough to begin to manifest. Thank you, Jesus, for it is done. In Jesus' precious name. I know that I know that it is done. I know that I know that God of breakthrough has visited you. You are going to experience it even right now. And you are going to see it manifest. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we give you all the glory. Now, don't forget to send in your testimonies by calling him or you can send it on an email. I believe all the contacts, uh, our contact will be on, on your television screen. Why? So that the name of the Lord will be glorified. It is good to know that you have joined me on the moment of breakthrough. Don't forget that you can never give up. Abraham did not give up. That's why Abraham at 75 years old was still seeking the, the face of God on what must I do? What must I do? At 75 years of age, Abraham was still embarking on a journey of destiny. So you cannot give up because Jesus died. 
The Bible says, Christ in you, the hope of glory, to every born again believer, every Christian that died. Jesus died for you. Now, when he died for you, he now lives in you. The Bible calls him the hope of glory. So, if the hope of glory lives in you, there is nothing hopeless about your situation. There is nothing hopeless about your life. Thank you, Jesus. And also, I will give you an opportunity. If you are being blessed by the moment of breakthrough broadcast, the right thing for you to do is to put your seed in there. You sow in your material seed. Now, are you buying a breakthrough, a miracle? No. But you are honoring God with your seed. And when you honor him, God will visit you. And also, you are sowing seed ahead in faith, ahead of time of what you believe God to bring to manifest in your life. Thank you for joining me on the Moment of Breakthrough broadcast. I'm going to see you next time, and I believe your breakthrough will be manifested before then. Thank you, and God bless you. I am glad that you have been part of the Moment of Breakthrough television broadcast over these many years in the Bay Area, Northern California, but I also like to let you know that God has given us, has opened a door for us to be on Upley Television, which put us on Direct TV. It means we can be nationwide. Moment of Breakthrough is now going to be nationwide from the first Sunday, the 3rd of September 2017. So I want you to join us on Moment of Breakthrough, and the time is 10 p.m. every Sunday, 10 p.m. Eastern Time, meaning 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. God bless you. I am Pastor Isaac of Dominion Life Christian Center here in San Ramon, California. I want to use this opportunity to invite you and get you to get to know our church and our services and all the programs that we run that will be a blessing to you. Number one, we're, we're a word of faith church that believes in the absolute power of God's word. We believe in the word of the Lord as it is. No drama and nothing added or nothing attached or taken away from it. So it will be a great time if you can take time out to seek us out and be in one of our services and I know that your life will never remain the same. We believe God in every service for the manifestations of God's power. So there is no service that you attend that you won't experience the dynamic power of God. I just want you to come and experience God's power. Now the Bible says they go from strength to strength, each one as they appear in Zion. So each time before the Lord is a time of empowerment. So I look forward to seeing you in one of these services. God bless you.